Hi, I'm Brian, Service Manager at Whole Latte Love, and today we're going to talk about adjusting the brew pressure on your Profitech Pro 500 PID. All right. All right. So, as you can see, we're going to need to have the housing off of the machine to be able to do this. Uh, you can try to do it with the housing on. I've done How's it once or work? twice. It, really? It's not easy. It's not easy. So, okay. yeah, fight a lot less if you just take the housing off. And we got a video for that, which I will link. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to start in the front here and just kind of discuss what we see going on in the front. All mm -hmm. right, step one when you're doing this, you're going to want your blind portafilter in so that we can get full pressure in there. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do is kind of get a base reading as to where you're at right now. Okay. So we're a little bit out of the green zone there. Um, that's roughly 10 bars of pressure. So, you know, just gotta decide where you wanna go with this. Uh, the first thing to know about what we're adjusting is the OPV on the back of the machine. We can look at that. Let's turn that around carefully. There we go. This is your OPV right here. I wanna know how you adjusted that with the housing on. It's so with the housing on, you've got the ho the housing comes out to about there, so you have uh -huh. very minimal space. And I have a tool that's kind of like a uh, it's a ratchet, but it's a screw ratchet, so you can put any kind of bit oh, that you want so in there. You go in from the top. Yeah, so oh, I went okay. in from the top like this, but with the reservoir out, and just uh, made a couple small adjustments, gotcha. and then. But you can't kept do it going like, back and forth, back and forth. You so. can't do that live. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, if you want to watch me do that for like no. 45 minutes, it was a no. test to see if, if I could do it oh, and okay. if it would save time. And I very rapidly decided that it did not save any time and just created a huge headache. So, so just take the housing Yeah. So okay. if you want to have a headache, go ahead and do that. But sure. otherwise, okay. housing off. Uh, right. So to keep in mind with the OPV on here, uh, the adjust when you're making the adjustments, you're going to be turning this screw in and out. Uh, you have a certain area that you can go from. You can only go from about eight bar pressure at the minimum up to f about 14 bar. Mm -hmm. So that's the maximum range you're gonna get on there. So if you're looking to make a uh, four bar shot or something like that, I don't know why you would, but you know, to each their own, uh, mm -hmm. you can't do that with that OPV. So, okay. uh, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go about doing the actual adjustment. Mm -hmm. uh, all you gotta do is get her running. I wanna get, a, get an idea of where you go with this when you make the adjustments. Yep. So, so oops, let's go there. We're gonna go, oh, where do you wanna go? Up or down? Let's go down. Let's go down? All right. So you're. That was, I just made a quarter of a turn adjustment on that. Quarter of a turn? Which way were you turning, just out of curiosity? Uh, turn it to the. Counterclockwise will reduce it. Okay. So uh, intuitive, just think of it as you're turning the needle. So if you're turning okay. that needle, if you want to go up, make that needle t turn towards the right or clockwise going up. Mm -hmm. So that's a quarter turn down. It's another quarter turn down. Okay. Another and another. All right. We get very so far on there. Oh yeah, you're down. You're down below nine. Oh, and yeah, I'm, I'm right about just there. Just so we know, so. each of those little tick marks is not precisely equal one bar. No, no, they're oh. not. Uh, if you actually count each one of those ticks, there, yeah. starting from like zero, yeah. uh, you, you end up with a number off there. So yeah. But we were gonna set it up at ten, which is the little extra inner tick mark here. Yeah. So if you go right. up, I, I'll talk you in. And okay. Talk me down, ground little, control. A little more, 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 and right there. There you go. All right. All right. All right. And give that pump a, a little break for a second here. Yeah, I mean, it's okay to have it running like that, um, but just, you know, you want to take it a little easy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, you're going to end up hitting a, a max out. There is a setting on the board that will only let you actually run it for a certain amount of time. But, okay. Uh, it, it's a very generous amount of time. So okay. you, have, you have plenty <laughs> yeah. of time to kind of fiddle around back there. But right. uh, if you let the pump run for a long time like that, I definitely recommend letting it just 
rest for a yeah, little while? Yeah, take, take a holiday for a couple minutes. Oh, um, that's, they call those duty cycles, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like 50% is you can run it for a minute, then stop for a minute or something. I'm not saying that's what the duty cycle is here, but. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's correct idea though. Yeah, all right. Um, the only other thing that I will mention, uh, and we'll, we'll just keep giving this guy a little workout and see, uh, you know. Sure. If we break the pump, then you know, you'll buy it, I'll install it, we'll be fine. Okay. Um, one thing I do want to mention, mm -hmm. uh, some people may notice this from time to time, <clears throat> if when you're under full pressure, mm -hmm. you may hear a slight muting of the pump, ah, right. and the needle will move a little bit. Mm -hmm. So... I'm gonna try and make it happen, huh? Try and make it happen. By releasing some steam to make the uh, element kick on. Yep. Uh, this one's not acting too. Oh, I see. It's going a little bit, right? Yeah, just a slight variation there. Yeah. So what's happening is this: uh, as the heating elements are turning on, it's just taking that little extra juice mm -hmm. uh, and just kind of affecting how much power the pump has. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those reasons why if you uh, have this in your kitchen, uh, mm -hmm. you don't want, you always want these on a dedicated circuit because anything that you're running on the same circuit can affect the performance of the machine. Okay. If you were to plug this machine in on a 20 amp circuit and run your microwave on the same circuit at the same time, you'd see the exact same effect happening, so. Well, that's good, good information. But. All right. That's that's all there is to it. I mean, you know, now you know how to do it so you can have some fun and see what works for you. Yeah, exactly. All right, Brian, thanks so much for taking us through that. Yeah, no problem.